Hey, what's good, squad? I see y'all. Hey, before I start this video, uh, just want y'all to hit the like button, sub up if y'all haven't, and hit that notification bell. All three of those things set my channel a lot. It helps me grow. It helps me uh, provide content for y'all because it, uh, it shows me that y'all like what I what I'm putting out. But with all that being said, man, let's hop right into this. If you want to be like six six and under, I would. Switch this to point guard because you get more badges as a point guard using this pie chart. I made my guy six seven because I well I made my guy a shooting guard because I wanted to be six seven. I didn't want to be you know six six and all of that. I wanted to be an inch taller. And even if I if I could uh with this build if I was able to get contact dunks at six eight then I I would definitely be six eight. But uh that was the cutoff is six seven so that's where I'm at right now. It's still a, it's still a go to build regardless of the fact. But um. Once you uh, get past this, you know, this is the pie chart that you want to choose. You want to choose the playmaking and defending pie chart. All right, now for the attributes, uh, see, I had to finesse my way with my with my build and the attributes because um, my wingspan on my player, it's like two down from max. And um, I had to finesse my attributes so I could get shot creating takeover with that wingspan. And uh, if I didn't, you know, Fix around my attributes the way I did, I wouldn't be able to get shot green takeover. Like I said, I finessed, I finessed the hell out of these attributes, so I was able to get shot and takeover. But uh, with that being said, uh, if you don't, if you're not aiming for shot creating takeover, then you can just put the attributes where you want them. I right, so I was kind of you know scattered these attributes all over the place, but um, I'm just gonna hop right into this. I don't, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna go six seven. I'm just gonna choose a random uh, weight. Now this is the wingspan that I have. I'm two down from max, so I have 86.6 uh, wingspan. And I click on it, and as I said, you see the playmaking and the slashing and the uh, and the lockdown takeover. But like I said, if you finesse these stats the way I did, then you can have the shot creating takeover. So let me just show y'all that real quick. All right, so this is my exact uh, attribute setup on my main player. And uh, if, if you want to copy it, you can. Here it is. And this is so uh, I can get that shot creating takeover at that 86.6 uh, uh, inch wingspan. And I'll just prove that to y'all right now. Uh, I'm gonna hop right into it. The 86.6, and there it is. Clear as day. The shot creating takeover. But like I said, if you don't want the shot creating takeover, then you can. You don't even have to do what I did. You can just. Uh, you can just pick what you like. But I feel like shot creating takeover with this build is like OP. And I actually went on like a 11 game win streak on the on the ones court and the stage. I got some gameplay of that that I'm, that might come out tomorrow or sometime uh, this week in a couple of days or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, I feel like Shark Grady Takeover is like the most overpowered or the, the best takeover for guards, in my opinion. Uh, it beats out playmaking, you know, definitely. If shot creating isn't number one, then, then slashing has to be uh, first. But the way I play, I feel like I, I want shot creating over uh, uh, slashing because if you do step backs, you can catch angles. And it's it's, it's really a bailout move, man. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's so cheesy. And even on my lockdown, I'm dropping everybody with step backs and my takeover. And even with my takeover on, uh, I don't know if y'all paid attention to my ball control, but it's a 76 or a 75, one of those. No, you start off at a 74, but at 97, uh, you, you get to uh, 76 ball control. And that pair with takeover, with sh uh, shot creating takeover, gives you a plus 10 of your ball handling. So you, you'll be able to like have that behind the fast behind the back and you, you'll you be able to momentum and all that fancy stuff. The uh, sham gods, all of that. So when they get my takeover, this, this becomes a whole different player at that point. All right, so now moving on, my height is of course six seven. Like I said, if you guys go anything below 6'7", you know, like 6'6", six, six for instance, anything lower than that, just, just go point guard, you get more badges. Like I said, the only reason I have, I went with the shooting guard uh, position is because I wanted to be 6'7", and that was the cutoff for the contact dunks, otherwise I'd be 6'8", but, uh, but yeah, make sure you guys do that. I made the weight 233. I made that, I made the weight this way because of my physicals and my interior defense, I get a 70 interior defense. It only drops my uh, lateral quickness down by two, which is fine by me. I can still, you know, keep up with guards or dribble guards, whatever you want to call them. Now, uh, you see my physicals, I get an 82 speed, 82 strength, 
a 76 acceleration and a 77 vert now that's not even adding on the weekly workout bonuses and uh and the plus four you get for, for being a 99 so there's eight attributes attribute points that you're missing out on so it's a 90 speed a 90 strength a 90 strength on a 67 guard come on now and uh a 84 acceleration and an 85 vert now let me break this down real quick it's a 90 speed and a 90 strength on the 6 7 shooting guard bro now keep in mind at, at the shooting guard position you're going to be matched up with guards you know like that may be like 6 5 6 6 at the most but you being 6 7 coming out with the 90 strength and the 90 speed come on up bro and and, and pair that with the acceleration and, and the vertical being the 84 and the 85 like come on bro this is like the most slipped on lockdown build in the game all right so now for the wingspan it's the 86.6 of course and you see the, the beautiful shot carry and take over now this is where it really separates my build from the rest of you know lockdowns you know or just other builds in general it's a shot creating takeover on a lockdown you know it's crazy this is really you know a quiet little build and you know uh when I was making this build, I didn't even have, I didn't have Kawhi Leonard, you know, in my mind. I was just making a build based on how I wanted it, but it, it just turns out um, it, it plays like Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard. It's the same height as Kawhi Leonard. Got got long arms like Kawhi Leonard. But yeah, man, with this shot creating takeover, I get a plus center on my ball handling, a plus center on my, my mid-range shot. I don't know if it does anything else, but I know it does those two things. I'm pretty sure if you like, if you uh, if you decrease the wingspan, you know, matter of fact, let me see right now. If you like decrease decrease the wingspan, let's say a 79, you get a uh, you get a 78 ball handle, and now at 97 you get an 80 ball handle, and at that point you won't even need to take over the you know speed boost and momentum and get the fast behind the back. You just need to make a couple of shots. So keep that in mind while you're making this build as well. All right, so now once you get all of that out the way, you get to choose your takeover. And like for me, I like shark cat and takeover, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Now, if you made your build exactly like mine, they're gonna call you a facilitating finisher. Now, I think this archetype name is height based, but regardless of the fact, um, the archetype name system is broken. It's misleading. Do not. Do not uh, judge a matchup based on their archetype name. For instance, I'm a facilitator finisher, and uh, I'm a whole playmaking lockdown with shark cutting takeover. So I'm gonna say nine times out of ten, maybe ten times out of ten, people that I'm guarding, they don't even know I'm a lockdown. They think I'm a slasher. They leave me open on the three. I can even shoot with this build. People ask me if you can shoot consistently with this build. You definitely can. I have a 65 three point rating at 97. It could be higher. But uh, even with that 65 three-point rating and those 10 shooting badges that I get, it's more than enough to you know shoot consistently with. At the moment, uh, I'm shooting like what 48% from the three in the park. But but let me let me slide this in. Um, I've been on that like a real bad shooting slump ever since ever since I released my my jump shot for y'all, bro. I've been so broke, y'all. Like this is not even the first year this has happened. Like last year it happened too. I released my jump shot uh, the next day. It's, it's it's broke. It's garbage. I can't use it anymore. But but lucky lap, I think I might have found a new shot. Before I released my jump shot, I was shooting over 50. I was shooting like 53%. Then legit, the same day I released that jump shot, I promise y'all, I was shooting like straight trash. I was, I was shooting no greens at all. I'm like, man, what's going on? Then I had to think about like what I did last year. I'm like, man, I, was, I released my jump shot last year and the same thing happened last year that's going on this year. I know regardless of all of that, man, I appreciate all of you guys for watching. If you made it this far, man, I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support, all the love, everything. It really helps me, it helps me, it motivates me. It motivates me to upload more and all of that. But regardless of that, man, it's gonna be it. Y'all be on the lookout for that video that I said, uh, that 11 game win streak in the, uh, in the stage on the, on the 1v1 court but uh with all that being said man i hope y'all hope this helped y'all but i'm out y'all